It's a beautiful spring day and I'm doing something very, very fun and unusual today. I don't think I could have ever imagined that my YouTube channel will lend me here, but I am coming to my friend's house, cooking a very traditional and absolutely delicious dish that is a specialty for the holiday Shavuos. Hi, today I'm here with my friend Javi. Javi grew up in Muncie, New York, which is another Orthodox enclave. This time it is outside of New York City, about an hour's drive north. Javi grew up in a very Hasidic family, not quite Satmar, but she went to Satmar girls' school, and we have known each other for a really long time as our children grew up. Uh, we are going to do something very special. What are we doing? So we're going to cook something special for Shvulis, for Shvies. It's called Krepla. Krepla, so yes. It's a dairy dish, a little like a um, dumpling. Dumpling yeah. with a nice sweet cheese filling and a cheese dough. When did you last make Krepla? Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever made any. Really? And I asked, we used to go to, the, to my in-laws for Shvies and they had like all delectable goodies and everything was perfect like very hungarian which i didn't grow up with but they like that was a specialty like for the milchik sida that's what they had it was pre-frozen and that's what my mother-in-law would take out, take out as the special and fry and butter as the special like the dish for the dairy meal so the holiday that we are preparing shvias you mentioned a milchik sida can you, can you say what a milchigasida is? So milchig is dairy dishes, anything having to do with milk, and fleischig is anything having to do with meat. And we keep that separate. We don't mix milchig and fleischig. On Schwies, it's a specialty that instead of eating meat and fish, which is the usual dinner or lunch that we'll have on holidays or Shabbos, we eat a dairy meal. Some people will eat two dairy meals because Shvius is two days. There's a yeah. lot of cheesecakes and miniatures and a lot of thing, dairy sweets going on. Sometimes dairy savory dishes as well. So this was like the dairy savory because in my mother-in-law's house they wouldn't, it wasn't as much like lasagna and that kind of dairy. We would just have like the milk exceda and wait a little and then have the fleisch exceda. So we're gonna make kreplech, something called kreplech. That's the plan. <laughs> That's what we're planning to do. Yes. So I cannot cook. On a scale of 110, how well do you cook? 11. <laughs> <laughs> Not, exactly. Not exactly. I used to cook at some point in my life a lot. I would trust you to cook. So we're going to try to pull off, we have a, a cookbook with a recipe. We're gonna to try to pull off the entire Kreplach Kreplach recipe. recipe. <laughs> See, this is the cookbook. There are vegetable dishes, salads, dairy there dishes. There you go. Yeah. Now, you know, I think the iconic dairy dish is the kreppel. That's what I think. Specifically Shvius, um, I don't know if we ever do kreppel otherwise throughout the year. There may be some more symbolism to it, like, you the, know, the, the hiding, hidden, the hiding and yeah. like... It um, looks like ravioli. ravioli yeah. right? But it comes in, in two styles, right? It comes with milchig and it also comes in meat. We eat Fleischer Kreppel specific times as well, like yes. Simchastoida or like... Exactly, right? or Yom Kippur before Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur before, like the last meal before the fast. I find that now the fancy schmancy recipes you can find online for Shvius, for instance, are not going to be Kreppel. Kreppel is sort of an old more traditional. Fashion. Yeah, it's yes, more traditional. It's a more of a traditional dish. It's not like the typical um, dish that is such a big thing anymore. Yeah. It's, very, it's like old fashioned. The word kreplach comes from krep, which sounds like a really bad word. <laughs> the ingredients for the dough is eight ounces of sour cream, eight ounces of soft whipped cream cheese, two eggs, one tablespoon of oil, four and a half cups flour, a pinch of salt, and one stick of butter. I guess I'll start out with the eggs. Okay. 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 <laughs> and the butter. Should we melt it all the way in the microwave? I think we should do that. Yeah, probably a good idea. Put the butter in. I'll start out with 30 seconds. Yeah. I think it's good enough. What do you think? Yeah, it looks fine. We're putting in eight ounces of sour cream. Uh, eight ounces of whipped cream cheese. Okay. Can you imagine a dough with so much cheese. dairy? Right? It's, it's like when you are going to be doing something dairy, you really dairy it up. 
Yes. You put as much. It's a lot of cheese and a lot of yeah. sugar and, and butter. butter. So now we're going to pour in the butter. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. A pinch of salt. Pour in one tablespoon of oil. Now we're going to pour in our last ingredient, which is the flour. Four and a half cups of flour. I'll pour in a little at a time. Yeah, it's going to start to get doughy. And then we're, we'll start having fun with our hands. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're just going to push it out. It's so soft. Should I have been touching it without washing my hands? So uh. should we dive in with hands? <laughs> It becomes a dough Just very quickly. Just incorporate the flour, incorporate, yeah. incorporate, and that's that. And it becomes a dough very quickly. I'm digging both hands in. <laughs> yeah, dig both hands in. Okay. So unfortunately, I lost my iPad so. on the train coming here, and I was in the middle of looking up Kreplich. No way. Keith, so you're going to talk have to, you're gonna have to read the Wikipedia entry of Kreplich to us, and then we're going to repeat it as if we... <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. The dough feels really nice. Yes. Let me explain to the camera what's going on. There are two lovely young women here in Javi's Daughters who have a lot of information about why you eat dairy stuff on Shavuos. Why do you eat dairy stuff on, on Shavuos? So I say, since they didn't know the laws yet, they... What, who, wait, who, wait? They, who, what? Who is them? So they just got... Who's they? <laughs> <laughs> The Jews. the Jews. The Jews. Thank just you. Just received the. We're or going are waiting to. to receive the Torah, and in there there are full of laws and how to prepare meat, and it has to be slaughtered the right way and salted for a certain amount of sit and salt for a certain amount of days, and and it's a process. So you can't have it from one day to the next. Cheese, it, it doesn't have to be processed in a very. There isn't that many. Laws. There are many rules in preparation of of. So Jeez. therefore, there is no meat ready for shrewis. Thank you. That is a very nice, but it is not the only explanation. It's not the main right. explanation the you learned to school. I just came up with. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making up stuff. We are students. We, ha we get very complicated. We got very complicated <laughs> educations with a lot of information. Can you give us one line of what, how you define milchiks? Give it, tell it to the camera. What do you mean? What does milchiks mean to you? Milchiks or dairy? What does that term mean to you? Personally? Yeah. Like a personal thing? Yeah. They're good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when you think about it, we don't mix the cheese, the milk, and, and the meat. So because we don't mix the milk and the meat, dairy has its own whole category and a whole host of different dishes, main yeah. dishes and sweet dishes and desserts and everything that you do just with dairy, with all types of savory and sweet cheeses. Exactly. So, yes. Exactly. Thank you. And See? And it's good. And it's good. Yeah. And it's good. Thank you, Leia. <laughs> she gave us, she gave she us this. Part. We're going to start with a new set of ingredients that we're going to fill the dough with. The filling is one pound of farmer cheese, five tablespoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla sugar, and one egg. We're starting with an egg. We're so used to doing this because we check the egg. When, when we open drops. eggs, we, we check for blood drops. You're not allowed right. to eat eggs with blood drops. Okay. Now we so can... So now let's put in the five tablespoons of sugar. And now we have one and a half teaspoons of vanilla sugar. Okay. Yeah. So it's one... One and a half, and a half teaspoon. Of vanilla sugar. One pound of farmer cheese. All okay, right, we're all ready. Us. We're ready to roll out the dough. Yeah. We're going to divide the dough in three parts. I think I so. Think. Yeah, I think three parts makes sense. Is, haven't done this in a while. Okay. Perfect. So now we're rolling out the dough. And then we're going to make... Flatten it out. And yeah. then we'll cut it into squares. My mother always made kreplach with a glass. With a glass? That's how I remember, like people doing it. I've never seen like my mother-in-law do it, but... Oh, your mother-in-law is how you... In were... my mother's house, there wasn't as much cooking. Like, our shvi is consisted of like 
getting a bunch of leaves from outside and hanging uh, it all over the house. That was our very big cheese. And we did um, blintzes, cheese blintzes. That was blintzes. a very yes, big it's another big d dairy dish staple. Right. So that was our, like growing up, that was the big staple. And sometimes we've had a cheesecake here and there, but in my mother's house, there wasn't as much cooking and baking, so. Yeah. Flowers are another big part of the Shavuot celebration because when Jews got the Torah, right? Am I saying it correctly? The, the mountain on which they got it, Mount Sinai? Right. So was decorated with flowers? Was decorated with flowers. It was really like in the, it was in the desert, so it wasn't like a fish, like it didn't. It was a miracle. It was a miracle that like three days before, like flowers and grass and all nice greenery sprouted. So, so uh, to symbolize that, we decorate the house with a lot of flowers and a and lot flowers. of foliage. Yes. And yeah, so those so, are the two really big things about yes. this holiday flowers and, flowers and milk eggs. And milk eggs. Yeah, and yeah. milk eggs. <laughs> okay, I'm just cutting this off because we're. I want to roll out some more. Okay. Okay. And okay, and then we'll roll it a little bit more. Okay. I'm really helping by also saying. <laughs> You're also saying. Okay. It's also saying stuff. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, and I guess we'll just have this yeah, extra this little is... piece here. We'll, we'll throw this we'll out. Right. To this way. So we're going to spoon some of this filling into the dough, and then we're going to bend it over in half into triangles. We're going to pinch it closed, and then we'll, pop, we'll it in. pop it into the boiling water. And I'll pull it a little. That way it won't warm it out. It's very runny. I think we should have put some more flour. Does it call for flour at all? Uh, no. no. What we could do is put more cheese. Totally laughing at us. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally <laughs> laughing at us. They are jealous that they are not making kreppel. That's all. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> so we have the boiling water. Okay. Ah uh ah, -uh, it's coming to the top. Really nice. Ooh. I am so proud of us. So good. Who can okay. complain? So now we're just gonna put some confectioner sugar into our confection sugar sprinkler. A lot of people make kreplach with breadcrumbs, sweet breadcrumbs on it. People use different toppings for the yeah. to serve the kreplach with. Oh, it looks they so look crispy. Nice. Oh, okay. Sour cream. sour cream and strawberries. Okay, and that is our. Oh, I know. <laughs> so <laughs> quiet. Okay. Here's our final presentation. Our cheese scrapbook. They look really delicious. And a little sugar on top. Leia. We're laughing at you. This time we are laughing at you. We were professional. <laughs> if you want to talk about awkward, try eating in front of a camera. Oh my gosh. Look. It's the mm. awkward. Mm. <laughs> now for the good part. There you <laughs> go. Tasting, there you right? go. That's why we're here. Oh, it is crispy. Mm. Mm. The dough. You can taste it. It's not very sweet. I don't like it too sweet. I think it's perfect sweet now. It's not very sweet. It could be fried in 
sweet breadcrumbs. I, I never remember it really being a very sweet dish, though. Like My mother made it very sweet. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So try to dip it in sour cream. Yeah. A bit. I'm going to get the strawberry in. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. Here, your turn. Here, come here. Take, taste it with a straw. Are you going to taste but it? But it doesn't have cheese in it. No, I need cheese. So, yeah, good, cut, good, cut good. One. The good, the good nice. cheesy part, yeah. There, that looks nice. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting all the eyes now. <laughs> Total payback. <laughs> Is it too, too much? <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it. <laughs> Sour cream is so good. <laughs> She's like <laughs> the crepe look are terrible. It, it makes it makes the crepe look. <laughs> the sour cream is so good. Wow! 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 Get Thank you. I'm kidding. No, it's actually really good. It is really good. Right. In fact, now we can take put away the camera so she can lick the sour cream. <laughs> the Do I have something on the tip of my nose? Yeah. Was that the whole yeah. time? I don't know. I just noticed it. <laughs>